about uh, the point of um, where you where you face um, yourself within the statement of um, uh, it's too late um, from from my personal experience um, in death uh, from my uh, life experience on earth um, in death you face the point of um, it being too late um, because when you die I mean it, it's too late for you to uh, return or attempt to try and fix and resurrect your life that has passed um, because everything that was dies with you um, and uh, the most prominent point that come up in death is the realization or the seeing and the understanding um, in a moment of um, the uh, let's say the you see what you've done in your life on earth um, you've seen you see what you've created um, you see the consequences and um, in in seeing all of that and understanding it and, and facing it uh, you experience directly the the point of it being too late um, to to go back um, and uh, what's also prominent within that experience is the, is the intense disappointment that you have because the I mean it's so easy to just make that one decision that change your whole life I mean, that change you but uh, we have such a tendency of trusting what we've always known um, what we've always trusted but not asking ourselves the question in terms of the realization, but uh, have I actually myself from end, from start, from beginning to end, um, created, constructed, formed, and thus understood how it is um, that I am, who I am, and what I'm participating, what I'm living, how I'm living. You know, in terms of everything of yourself and your world and your reality, um, you just kind of walk everything into a blind acceptance and just trust that, just trust everything, and kind of walk into a reality and then just trust everything without investigating everything for yourself. Um, so. And then in your life there come these glimpses of opportunities uh, wherein you have the ability to break from a patterned existence of blind trust and acceptance and uh, start on a journey, so to speak, on uh, self-discovery that is a path, so to speak, that's walked alone. Um, that is in a way separate from everything that you have ever known and ever trusted because you are then placed in a position where you have to trust yourself and uh, we have always such a tendency of trusting everything and everyone else in terms of what we've always known um, and uh, trusting oneself then becomes quite a fearful um, prospect because it seems easier to depend on everything and everyone else of what you've always known 
from how you've grown up than to stand alone and take self-responsibility and observe yourself not only in context of self-interest but in the context of the world and, and humanity. Um, I think that's a important realization for me in terms of observing that one singular point within my life experience wherein um, I, I only looked at myself in context of myself, you know, I mean, every, every human being in this world loves that completely, where we truly believe that it is only us in, as an individual that exists in this world um, and we in essence within that do not actually realize but hey you know we're in this world with a lot of other people um, and that the world does not revolve around only us I mean as an individual um, everyone affects everyone um, something happens at one part of the world it affects the other part of the world in many ways one human being does one action that one action affects billions of people um, so that's a, a point to also look at in terms of I mean I understand that it's extremely daunting to <laughs> embrace self-trust um, in terms of actually observing yourself, your reality, not only in context of yourself alone, but in context of existence, taking everyone and all into consideration equally. Um, but if you would observe, for example, the point of the self-honesty within self-trust um, wherein and you live that self-honesty within the context of equality and oneness is all his life um, there's nothing to fear um, because you have within that yourself and the understanding of the consideration of all as one as equal and uh, whatever you may find and see and realize and understand um, you'll be able to walk through um, within self-forgiveness as your support to do so to be able to face what it is that you'll actually realize and see and understand um, when you dare to um, <laughs> switch the light of self-interest off and walk into the unknown 